Welcome back everybody. We just finished a previous video on how to install the TorchMate CAD software on a computer via a direct download link off of the TorchMate.com website. This next video is going to be featuring setting up TorchMate CAD, getting all the preferences correct, streamlining the user interface. This will therefore minimize the downtime and the frustration that you would have. And the next one that we do will be basic drawing skills in the TorchMate CAD. So make sure you subscribe and like to my channel that way you're informed of any of the newest videos that I upload. If you have any requests, please by all means let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is make sure that your USB TorchMate CAD security dongle is plugged into your computer before we load the software. After that, let's go ahead and load up the software. I'm running with version 9. Version 8 is relatively just the same. Version 9 just has a few more features. As always, what I told you before, let's go to the help button and we're going to go about TorchMate. This right here, we want to see pound zero or zero. If you see negative one or nothing at all, that means it didn't recognize your USB security device. So you need to close the software, put the USB in or unplug it and put it back in and then load the software. Regardless, pound zero or zero is what we want. And then we know that it won't close on us. Okay, first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and go up to the options. We're going to go to TorchMate Setup and General Preferences. We have units where you're working in inches, so I'm going to choose that. This is your XY offset, so basically if you want to make a duplicate of an item, you can specify a certain distance that it will reference off of for your duplicates. Typically, I leave it at 1. Make sure it's on PolyArc. Click OK. Go back to Options, TorchMate Setup. Now we're going to go to the Selection Tool Settings. What I like to do, the only thing I really need to change is highlight selected objects. I'm going to choose two for the pixels. This will make it much clearer when you select an item. After that, click OK. Go back to Options, TorchMate Setup. We're going to go to Display Units. It's a common mistake that I see. It defaults at three decimal places, but typically I like four. That way we can uh, get like sixteenths in there, 0 0.0625, 1875. So make sure we just click at the four. Okay. Now go to View. Turn off Show Fill. One little annoying thing is every time you select an item, it will close that window. So we'll have to go back to view, uncheck show tool diameter. What that is, is it's just going to show the diameter of your tool when you draw. So we don't want to see this. Go back to view, show grid. We can show the grid if you want, or we don't have to. Let me show you what that looks like. If I zoom in, you see this grid? And if we go to options, torchmate setup, general preferences, you can see the grid size here is one by one. If you wanted to make that smaller, you can. So let's say you wanted quarter inch, quarter inch increments. I'll just go 0 0.25, 0 0.25. That way, you can see they're much smaller now. Typically, I don't like to see these lines. So I want you to go to view, show grid. I want that off. All right. Next item we're going to do is we're going to customize these shortcut buttons. Right now we have way too many that are going on here. So go ahead and just, what we're going to do is right click on any one of these icons. Just mouse, you're going to right click on the mouse on any one of these. You're going to click customize. You're going to click new. 
and you're going to name your own special toolbar. So name it what you want. Typically, if I'm the operator, I'll just name it uh, my name or my toolbar, whatever. So I'm going to put Bob Smith's. All right, click OK. So these are the available buttons that you can use whenever you select one. You're going to click Add over here, and this will be your new toolbar. So go ahead and just follow along with me. We're going to click New. We're going to click Add. Open. It's already going to be on it. Just click Add. Click Add for Save, Add for Import, Add for Export. Now you're going to hit this Down button. We're going to do the undo, so you're going to add the redo we want, so click add. This clear button, this is a great button, this is an actual like the delete key on your keyboard. So I'll click add. We're going to scroll down. Material size, we're going to add. Keep scrolling down. Make path. This is where we're going to add. Break path, we're going to add. Remove all guides, add. Show fill, let's click add. Show tool pass only, click add. Calculator, add. to polyarc click add and then lastly let's do start sequence by vector click add I believe that is going to be it so now we need to arrange these in the order that we want so on the current toolbars button, this slider, which moves it up and down, go all the way to the top. The same with this one, go all the way to the top. So we have new, open, save, import, and export. After export, we're gonna click the separator and we're gonna click add. But you see what it did here? It added it where I didn't want it. So you can actually click on it and say no you get back over there so click remove so you're going to click the one that you want the separator under so you're going to click the undo which when we put the separator it's going to actually put it right in between so i'm going to click add now i want you to hit the down arrow a couple times remove all guides click on that now here we can say move up so click move up keep moving up keep moving up I'm gonna hit this up arrow so I can see where I'm at. That's perfect, that's kind of where I want this. So I'm gonna click on material size, click on the separator, and click add. And now I have a separator. So far, you should be with me. So we have new, open, save, import, export. Then we have that separator. Then we have all our undo and delete buttons right here. Undo, redo, clear, remove all guides with our separator. Now we have material size, make path, break path, show fill, show tool pass only, and click on calculator. And we're gonna click add, which will add a separator above it. And we'll go down, and that's take calculator. Let's move him all the way down to the bottom. So click on him and just click move down twice. Perfect. Now you're gonna hit close. Now I want you to uncheck config, uncheck operations, and as I check uncheck these, you'll see that they'll disappear. So I'll light that one back up. See how it's here? This is the config toolbar. So when I uncheck it, it goes away. Operation, when I uncheck it, that one went away. Also with system, which is gonna be this guy, he's gonna go away. Perfect. 
And if yours isn't checked right here, use large icons, you want this. Otherwise your icons will be much smaller. Until you get used to the system, I would encourage you to make sure that this is checked. After that, we're just gonna click close. And this is our new toolbar. This is important that you match what I have. So in the other future training videos, you'll be able to move along. And what this eliminates a lot is going through all these sub menus where all your tool paths are, where all your um, options are, your layouts. It's much quicker to just click on these buttons. And once you get used to that, you'll love it. Well, you made it through that. Good job. On our next video, we're going to focus on setting up the tool library, which is used for organizing predefined sets of tools that will be used with your plasma cutter or end mill for your router. As new tool paths are created, tools may be selected from the library instead of setting new tool parameters each and every time. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Please like if you like it. We'll see you in the next one.